Alrighty guys, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a recording. I know I say that every recording, but what can I say? I'm a little bit of a... Oh, what's the word? Procrastinator. You know, I don't really do a recording until I need to do one. <laughs> um, so yeah, level 11, 11 hours and 11 minutes in. That is... Lots of 11s, make a wish everybody. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna copy our save file once or twice, just to make sure that if anything happens, you know, we can double back and fix it if needed. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, by the way, I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, but yeah, no, we got four stars now, we just left off finishing up in, um, that Gloomyville area. What's it called? Man, we were, like, just there. Twilight Town, there we go. We finished up in Twilight Town. We talked to Professor Frankly, and he said we need to go to, like, this Keyhole Island place, I think it was called. Then we have to go talk to some of the sea salts down by the harbor to get our bearing on it. Um, I don't know, should we do this, or should we go try to do that, um, 100 level uh, thingy-majig? Cause there's like a big dungeon, right? K key Hall Key? You mean the island where the treasure horde of Cortez the Pirate Kin is hidden? So, you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out for the pirate, or the curse will get ya. What? Key Hall? Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I've heard. Not long ago, ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but no one ever returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys were dumb. <laughs> key Hall Key! That... Er, that's that cursed island. Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's gotta be a way to just poof and get rich, you know? Poof! Yeah, that'd be nice. See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often though, mostly he hangs out at Podley joint, Podley's joint on the plaza. Oi, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink guy, eh? You got something to say? Alright then, ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I, I can answer anything. Oh, key hall key. Listen, mate, don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. This is a very fancy ship. Maybe we should go speak to the owner outside in Podley's place. Pretty sure that's just the local inn in brewery. <laughs> Man, we should really like fix this place up. Just falling apart. Feels bad. All right. What is Buddy doing outside the thingy? Oh, I think he's just like, hey, come stop in, right? Yeah, it's my brother's shop. One day I'd like to have my own. That'd be nice. Ugh, it's stressful owning a shop. Why can't you just be an adventurer like Mario and be rich? Well, speaking of Mario, here's his famous brother with his crazy long story. So, I hope you guys are ready for this. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about the thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Yeah, so he's on the fourth, uh... Yeah, he just finished the fourth piece of his, uh, thingy-majig, too. So I feel like our stories are kind of going parallel somehow. <laughs> well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that the hold cart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding this award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy, they gave the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was to enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in car races before, so I thought it'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that would send you airborne with air exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles, bazookas, it was anything goes, bro. 
Of course I wanted to get right out of there pronto, these drivers were crazed. But I worked out my courage and signed up anyway, and race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the big green 01. It took my position at the start line. The light was green, I stomped on the accelerator, and something bad happened. It was in reverse! The big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me with a hard enough, er, er, yeah, hard enough to cut me off mid-scream. I, in one fell swoop, I dropped into my last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news, all the other carts were crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazz Fraz Town in the east. Then I heard the voice, Princess Eclair's voice, echoed in my ears again. Oh my princess, random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I would most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat and came back here in Rogueport, and that's what happened. Or, that's what's been up with me. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. Yeah, I'm... Torque, and don't for a second think that this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot! I'm not letting him dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair cost. 5,000 coins. That's crazy. That's a lot. Friends, three times red stash, land is his end, blue stash is belly, four times is whacked. Now all the fireworks boom and crack. I think he's the captain guy. And what do you want, eh? Who me, you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio, and how you say, a traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, ah? Huh? What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Romance, definitely. I'd say emotion, probably thrills, and money. I mean, he seems to be full of money and very passionate emotions. He's probably had a couple thrills, you know, getting his money and stuff, so probably romance. Romance, you say, ah? Huh? I suppose one does need some romance in life. What other sweet, delectable fruit can make so many wonderful pasta sauces? Ah, no, foolish Flavio. Not romance. You silly man, what I need is romance. Roman? Romus? Weird. Uh, wait, hold the horses. That's it. Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of the Cortez Pirate King. Um, yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for the pirate treasure. Why, that just sh shrieks of romance and thrills, emotion, and even money. Yeah, why not go for awful, right? <laughs> Do you not know the tale of the Pirate's King treasure hidden on Key Hall Key? Ah, well, tell say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of the pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot, but not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Key Hall Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I am going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader, extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the Seven Seas. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for treasure, here in Rogueport. Why well, talk of such craziness, there isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot believe in each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Key Hall Key. You swine, you mean to steal my treasure from underneath me, you awful, awful man. Well, now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. But now that I am thinking, the star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. 
Perhaps I could t sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keyhall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. <laughs> huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship. Ha 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 ha. You unfortunate foolish man, do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us be begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as in our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. You know, Buddy said he was a millionaire, and our brother's like right there, and he needs like five... 5,000 measly gold to pay off his debt, so come on, Flavio. Help him out. <laughs> Poor Luigi. Um, 